All right, what's going on everyone? This is just gonna be a super quick tutorial on how to build this kind of 3D looking chunky button um, in SwiftUI. I've used this uh, button style on a couple, couple different apps and I don't know, I just really like the style of it and um, it's kind of satisfying to tap with this kind of like 3D effect. So a um, couple things to note, I'm doing this on, a, on the Playgrounds app on my iPad because my laptop's busted right now, but um, all the code's the same if you're gonna do it in Xcode. And then um, I'm also um, on iOS 17. Um, make sure that you're targeting iOS 17 because I'm using some of the newer modifiers. Uh, so yeah, this is the finished product right here. Let's uh, jump into a fresh uh, view and start out by just adding a button. And we'll give it a label. Press me. And then for the action, let's we'll just do like a print statement. All right. So um, the way we're actually gonna make this kind of 3D effect is we're gonna use a button style. If you're not using button styles already in your apps, you should. Um, they're great because you can um, basically create a reusable button um, with your own custom styling and you know keeps your code really clean. Um, so all you need to do to add a button style is just add a button style modifier. Um, and let's call our button style chunky button. Now you're gonna get an error here because we actually haven't added the, the um, button style code yet. So to do that, just drop below the content view and um, just type button style and you should get the auto complete to come up and just hit enter and that's gonna, uh, Xcode is just gonna um, generate all that code for you so you don't have to write it out manually. And uh, make sure when you do that, you also change the name to um, Chunky Button, which is what we called it up above. And um, you should see it kind of show up in the uh, canvas now. All right, cool. So now we just, we're just gonna do all the work inside of this button style um, struct. And I'll start by giving it a new font, something a little larger, we'll say 24, make it bold. We'll do rounded, and then we're also gonna just add some padding. All right, cool. Now to, to make our kind of 3D button effect, um, we're basically gonna create two layers. We're gonna have a top layer and a bottom layer. And um, when we tap on the button, we're gonna move those layers around a little bit to get that press, pressed effect. And um, since we need kind of two layers stacked on top of each other, first we're gonna add a background and inside the background modifier, we're gonna add a Z stack. And here we're gonna add two capsules, which are gonna be like the two shapes that make up our button. And we'll start by doing the top part so we can see what's going on. Um, we'll create a fill for this and just say white. And then we'll add a stroke. And for this, we'll do black line width three, okay. And then now um, we'll jump to the other capsule shape and we'll do the same thing, we'll add a fill, only this time we'll um, make the fill blue here. And for the stroke, we'll do the same thing, we'll do black line width three. Okay, um, now you notice we don't see the bottom part um, and that's because we're gonna use an offset to actually push it down so that it kind of creates that 3D effect. So if I do offset and offset the Y by 10 pixels, now you'll see it pushes the blue part down. You can kind of, now it's you know got that 3D effect. All right, so next thing we wanna do is we wanna add that kind of like cool press state and we can do that by using um, something called configuration.ispressed. And this is something available in um, button styles. And for the press state, we actually want this to be, we want the offset to be zero. And then in the default state, we want it to be 10. So now when I tap this, you'll see that it's moving the bottom part but it's not creating like the effect that we want because the bottom's like going up, but we want, we want the button to appear like it's like being pressed down. So to fix this, we're gonna go um, 
After our background modifier, we're going to add another offset. And we're going to offset the Y again. And we're going to use the same configuration. Whoops. Configuration dot is pressed. And then here, we're going to say um, when it's pressed, we want to offset the Y by 10. And when it's default, we're going to offset it by 0. And now, when I press my button, it's going to do that kind of like really cool press down state. That's it. Super easy. Um, you can take this further by like, you know, passing in, you know, color properties or something. Like you could, you know, add a tint here or change up the, the style. Um, but yeah, these are like really easy to make. Button styles are awesome. And uh, yeah, hopefully this was helpful. And um, see you next video.